eight lessons that will change your life. Kathy, good morning. Good morning. People expecting a book from you might think it would be about modeling, fashion shoots, um, what it is, what it means to look gorgeous. People would be surprised to know that this book is really about your fundamental, your core beliefs, your beliefs primarily in God. Why reveal so much of what's inside you in this book? Well, you know, it, it was a tremendous honor to write this book. So much of my earlier job description was to simply shut up and pose. I had been approached about writing a book on design. And while I think that's wonderful and something that I may like to do someday, you can have a beautiful home, but if your life isn't working, it really doesn't matter. I felt very strongly that for my first book, I wanted it to be something that I felt passionately about. And Why passionately, though? I mean, is it because of what you believe, or is there a connection to the people who will be reading it that creates that passion? I believe, I, I believe that failure is education, and in that respect, I have been very well educated. No, come on. <laughs> and, Nobody believes that. Look at you. I mean, you're the head of the major book. Problem. I know, I know. But, and, there, and there have been some difficulties uh, along the I, way. I've had several businesses that failed before starting. And what, what I, I hope to accomplish with this, first of all, it's a very big promise. Powerful inspirations, eight lessons that will change your life. The reason I can be so bold is to say these lessons will change your life is because the inspirations don't come from me. They come from God. And if you apply them to your life, your life will change. How do you know? Because it's worked for you. It's worked for me. And Let, let's take some of the lessons one by one. You say success in life is achieved by experiencing and bringing challenges. Basically what you've done is you've taken Proverbs and, 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 and pieces of the what you read in the Bible and translated them into sort of a vernacular and, and the changes. For example, another lesson, faith is the key to stability and the cornerstone of life. Explain. All things are possible with God. If God is with us, who can be against us in powerful you? It, it talks about perseverance and I have been told several times you can't, you're not good enough, you're not smart enough, but perseverance, when we have God on our side, there's nothing that we can't accomplish in powerful families. I never had a family business, but today I have a business family. When you surround yourself with people who share your core values. You, you don't have to agree on everything, but your core values. And today, I work with a wonderful team. Uh, Eric, Jason, John, and Steve, and everyone at Kathy Ireland Worldwide, the entire team. When you treat people you work with the way you want your family to be treated, there's no limit as far as what you can accomplish together. Bottom line is what you're saying is that what's happening in here sets the stage for everything. And the interesting that thing that I, a couple of things interesting in your book uh, I want to bring up. One is, you write, first of all, that you are painfully shy, which people will be surprised to read. Also, that you've always struggled with the concept of anyone tying their self-worth to, the, to their outward appearance. Absolutely, and I think my modeling background heightened that sensitivity to me. I believe beautiful people come in all shapes, sizes, colors, and ages. And that is something that is reflective in everything in our, in our brand, from apparel to furniture. Mm -hmm. And it's something I feel very strongly about. If you get your self-esteem from superficial areas, such as your looks, your social standing. But you know, so it would have been so easy for you to do that, given how beautiful you are. Oh, thank you. That, no, that's but a no, but no, but I'm not, it's not a kind, it's honest, but it why was, didn't you? You know, it, it was never a, a focus growing up. I, I, I did go through an awkward phase. I think most people do. It, it was never important and I never felt comfortable earning my living off how someone else perceived that I look. But that's what Looks you did though as a model. That's what you did as a model. I, I did. It was not what I aspired to do. I'm grateful for it the happened opportunity. To you. It was a great education for me, but it wasn't something that I held on to as something that was of such importance. One of the lessons we'll end with is uh, you, that you say is we are all capable of living our lives with great joy. Well, on that very hopeful note, we thank you for joining us here this morning and good uh, luck with your book. Well, thank you, Anne. And my, my co-author, Laura Morton, incredible woman. Uh, the book is for Doubleday and I thank you for the opportunity. And if you want to find out more about Kathy's book, you can look at our website at today.